Welcome to another quick take of Teague's Take. Me and JT want to be talking to you about the STEM route this time, so you guys need to make sure you pay attention to this because it gets kind of complicated, or maybe not complicated, but there's, it's used in ways where you're trying to get a defensive back or a defender off of this spot. So this particular play that we want to show, uh, Jermaine Burton's at the top. He's going to stem the guy inside to beat him on the outside. So well, let's run the clip first. Oh, there we go. JT's got a great drawing going here. So it's the, all right. I'm yeah, so why don't, you talk to him, why don't you talk to him about the stem and what you're trying to drop on the screen right here. Yeah, so what we've got, we, we have a defender – that is outside leverage, right? So as a receiver, what we're really trying to do, this this is the art of route running, right? Do you know where you're supposed to be? And you know how well, the sequence of events that need to happen so that you can get over. You know that your route is an outbreaking route. And because of that, if a guy is standing outside of you, you need to figure out a way how to put him inside so he's not in between you on the sideline. Right, so uh, this is the plan that needs to go through every receiver's mind when they when they run a route. I mean, who is their defender, and where does that defender need to be when the ball is thrown? In this case, it looks like because this this could potentially be cover one. There's a safety in the middle of the field, right? So if we put on our DB hat for a second, we want to have outside leverage because we have a guy that's coming inside, right? That. Uh, we want to we want to funnel him to our safety. So what Jermaine Burton does here is actually he starts his route inside. I'm gonna put that on the screen for you. So he actually starts running this way because this challenges the defender's leverage in the sense that all right, I'm going where where you want me to go, but I'm trying to create space between you and the sideline. So then when you have this defender here start to work inside. We can stem him up. He tries to maintain leverage, and at the last second, we can break to the sideline where we have a splashdown zone where the ball is going to be. So we can take a look at what this is actually going to look like for us uh, when we run the clip. All right, so he's going to go inside. He's going to send the, the he's going to send the, the DB up to get him square. Now he has a two-way go. Defender never turns his hips. And now we've created space. All right. So is there anything you want to add, add to that? I know I've been kind of rambling just a little bit there. No, it's not rambling. I think it was a great um, illustration of what we're trying to get is that, you know, as you look at the DB, he has to squeeze and maintain his leverage. He just can't go straight back because he could. As JT said, he got a two-way go. He could go inside or towards the ATM. Um, but he's setting them up so he can get outside. So it's a great route by uh, him. And I think you got a, a back end clip right here, right? So first of all, go back just a second. I want you guys to look at those linemen up front. <laughs> I know we we're talking about the right uh, route, but these guys do a four way or a three way pass off. You look at fifty two; he's finding a looper that's coming all the way around. It's a pretty amazing job by the offensive line. Jalen Milrow, if you look at his back of his head, he's kind of looking left a little bit to help that wide receiver. Then the last second, you can see him look to the right and fling it out to Burton, um, even with someone coming down at him. That's a pretty doggone good play. So what do you learn today with this? JT told you guys you need to make sure, you know, this should be going through a wide receiver's head all the time. What are you trying to get and what is the leverage that the guy has on you? Utilize your stems or your moves to be able to get open. <laughs> and that will do it for this episode of Teague's Take, the quick take. And as we're breaking down the leverage, don't forget, send people to this page. Subscribe, hit the bell, because you know when all these come out from week to week. We'll see you guys later.